Okay. Uh, hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, hi, Madam. My name is, is Muhammad Shalom Rizam. And this is uh, my, uh, our class uh, teammates is Amir, uh, Azim, Azim Shahid, Gon Junsen, and Fakru Azwa. Uh, we are taking the article uh, review, the heading behavior, uh, and Islamic market efficiency assessment case of the Dow Jones and Suku market. The introduction of this article is heading behavior in Islamic market. Uh, it's like the purpose of the, this article is to present Islamic stock. The author name is uh, Emna uh, M, M. Nif from the Department of Finance University of Aspect, the Tanisha Bessem from Salki Department of Accounting, the College of the Business Administration Majma University KSA at uh, Majma in Saudi Arabia. And uh, the, out, the third author is Hanis Jaurboy from University of Sfax, uh, Tanisia also. And the article was received 27 October 2018, which is revised at 17 March 2019 until the 24 April 2019, accepted 9 July 2019. The purpose of this article is to present the Islamic stock and Soku market of efficiencies and focus of, on the presence of invested heading behavior with the interesting finalization and integration of market. It is uh, fundamental to assess hedge and staff having characterism of finance market. In the first research of the suggest uh, that the price of, of the return uh, on the DJIM and the DJSI is uh, positively correlated and, uh, and the secondly using robot uh, estimate uh, it is observed that the djmi eh, sorry djim is the most uh, the islamic stock market that results uh, additionally points to the absence of the behavior in the suku market under investigation the next is uh, uh, Azim Shahir is explain for the problem. Okay. Thank you, Sharul. Uh, hello, Miss. My name is Azim Shahir. I'll be presenting about the problem of our article. So, uh, in this article, the investigating of the efficiency and the presence of a HB in the Islamic stock market uh, is of great importance for both academic researchers and practitioners uh, in their investment decisions and strategies. Uh, the more relevant their strategies are in this research, uh, the question is how to analyze the microstructure of Islamic stock and sukuk markets. Uh, we describe here the remainder of this article was organized as follows. In section two, they gave a quick review of the most case studies in the literature. In section, in section three, they described the technique as well as the data used to execute it. Uh, the empirical results from this study were covered in section four of the paper. Finally, section five comprised uh, organizer uh, relevant concluding thoughts. So that's all for the problem. Next will be the review of the literature by Johnson. Okay, so my name is Go Jun Shan and and <laughs> in the literature it was mentioned that the social influence in the Suku market where The investors are, are influenced by some scholars, which it affects the investment demands of our school. So, as we can see, that does. Hurting behavior in this 
market because of the stomach information that the investors receive and how they react. So this is why this research was done. So in this research, there are a, a few methods that were used in order to study the variables of the Islamic markets, which the first is the Hearst exponent, which is used to evaluate the efficiency of the market and any herding behavior. And the next two is the Shannon entropy, which is used in the world to identify any disorder or any um, like the instability of the market. So with this, the, the study can deduce any herding behavior in the market and avoid any influence like um like those informations from the summit scholars. So that's all from me. Okay, thank you, Johnson. So next will be design and procedures. We will split this into two halves. So the first half will be presented by me, Azim Shahi, and the second half will be presented by Fakrul Azwa. So for design and procedures, for this research, the authors use several quantitative methods to determine the factors and changes in the Islamic finance market, especially on Islamic sukuk. Uh, this approach is used to reduce and avoid the elements of social influence and cognitive bias of the human brain, uh, which can maintain the uh, reliability of the study and also deduce any presence of herding behavior. The first metric impl implemented is the Hearst exponent, which was created by Hearst in 1951. The Hearst exponent was later rescaled in terms of its statistical range in 1969 by Mandelbrot and Wallace. It is used to reveal the efficiency of the stock market over time and also the presence of herding. Uh, also in this research, the Hearst exponent was used on the Islamic circuit markets for the same purpose. For the measurement on the estimation of fractal dimension, the Holbrook and Genten estimators uh, were used because they are statistically in line uh, with short time series. Also, another quantitative tool uh, the called the Shannon entropy was used in this research. The entropy can measure the complexity and randomness, which is uh, which its concept is similar to the concept of infinity. It can financially analyze any degree of uncertainty. The results can also be used to be integrated into the efficiency index, which can assist in determining the performance of the Islamic supermarket. So as for the originality of this study, the originality of this study is genuine uh, with the different approach of quantitative methods and tools, which is different from other research that study the emotional and psychological behavior elements in the Islamic finance market. Uh, this truly systematic and unbiased approach revealed the effects of herding behavior in Islamic supermarket uh, in comparison with the Dow Jones market. Uh, moving on. In this research, tools and metrics such as the Hearst exponent and the Shannon entropy successfully unveiled the desired results, which evidently proved the originality of the study. In terms of how this study is conducted, the Dow Jones market <coughs> sorry, was firstly observed. The DJIM and the DJSI have an ethical and moral dimension where there exists the correlation between the studied uh, indices prices. Next, moving on. The Hearst exponent 
was implemented to determine the efficiency of the Islamic supermarkets and the presence of herding behavior. The Hearst exponent was estimated at 30 lakh returns by means of the rescale range statistics method, which can deduce the power of predictability and the degree of efficiency of each index. Uh, followed by the Hallwood and Genton estimators to measure it by short time series. The Shannon entropy was then used to determine the degree of uncertainty and disorder, which can also reveal any hurting behavior. The results will then be integrated with efficiency index and compared uh, with, the with the indices of Dow Jones market. So that's all for me for design and procedures for the first half. So next will be by Fakrul as well. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Azim. So, hi, Miss. My name is Fakhra Alva. So, I will I'll be explaining about the later half of the design and procedure. So, there is no pilot study conducted because this research is solely contributing to identifying the efficiency and the presence of herding behavior by using the Hearst component in Islamic finance market, especially on uh, Islamic supermarket, which means that this research can be referred to if there is any entity that want to study it quantitatively with little to no presence of emotional or psychological element in the research. So in terms of the variable, the indice price of the three component of the Jones market was studied as the variable, which is the price of DGIM, DGSI, and also the DGIA. This is to de determine the effic efficiency and the presence of herding behavior in the Jones market. So um, the next is from the four type of Islamic, Islamic supermarket in which data of its performance were processed using the Hearst component. Uh, uh, the result from the variable for the efficiency of the Islamic supermarket, uh, which is from the Islamic supermarket. So this is where the presence of herding will be identified and compare with the variable of the indice price of the Doge's market and in terms of sampling, the sampling for the Dow Jones market were indices price of it, of its three components, in which it, uh, the data is expected from first January two thousand and ten to to the third uh, December of two thousand and sixteen. So moving on to the next, which is data analysis and also uh, presentation. So for the data analysis and, and the presentation, the article methodology is by studying the evolving efficiency of the Dow Jones Indice from the 1st of January 2010 until 30, 30 December 2016 using a rolling sample. So in, so in terms of a uh, rolling sample, the varying parameter method was also used, in which in the first part, a heterogeneous sample was used including Islamic, conventional, and also sustainable index. So in the, so in the second part, it's purely using Islamic bond differentiated by the structure, in which it, was, it, was, it consists of three types of Dojan indices, which is DJM, DGSI, and also DGIA, which is, uh, which is the, the data was extracted on daily basis. So in terms of, uh, in term of so from this observation of no dice, it can be stated that both the DGIM and DGSI have both ethical and moral definition. So due to this reason, the first focus is on the correlation between the study and the price. And it was clearly uh, observable that the, cor the correlation between the DGSI and DGIM is very high and is, and is equal to 0 0.9183, which is a positive uh, correlation. Hence, we can be confirmed that DGIM and also DGSI uh, return have the highest correlation degree after the study was done. So I will pass it uh, to Azim for the conclusion. Okay, thank you as well. So ending things off with the conclusions and implications. <laughs> So, uh, in my opinion, we managed to analyze our obtained data very well. Uh, we look into the uh, how the topology of the Dow Jones stock index changes over time in this paper. Uh, we also consider these business sectors to zero in on the strict part. Also, two empirical methods uh, are used to explain how three stock market efficiencies change over time. Uh, the first provides a non-parametric 
uh, time varying estimate of the Hertz exponent by employing a rolling window technique. Uh, the Hertz exponent's uh, rolling sample was calculated using a 500 observation time window. Uh, next, the Hertz of 30 delayed uh, return series is estimated using a time varying parameter method in the second strategy. The DJIM series oscillates between Brownian and low, and low persistent as demonstrated by the evolving efficiency of the Hertz estimates. Uh, the fact that DJIM buyers appear to be more logical and rely on their beliefs provides an explanation for the shift. Furthermore, uh, Islamic markets are distinguished by their openness with information readily accessible to all market participants. Additionally, uh, Islamic markets have recently gained popularity. As a result, uh, prices will rise, resulting in DJIM series persistence. Also, finally, the beginning of a HB will be established if other investors are encouraged to purchase the same stock index. So that's all for conclusions and implications. And that's all for our uh, presentation, Miss. For the article titled, Herding Behavior and Islamic Market Efficiency Assessment, Case of Dow Jones and Sukuk Market. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Everyone say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Yes. Assalamualaikum. <laughs>